Uh, next this lunchtime, one of the stations for the new Crossrail route through London is being built at a factory near Worksop. The route across the capital is costing £14.8 billion and companies from outside London have been urged to get involved. Construction is getting underway now at Langer Rourke's factory in Steedley. Mark Ansell has been there this morning. So work is well underway here at the factory in Worksop for this train station that's going to be built here and then transported down to London on lorries next year. And this is what uh, the wall will look like next to the track. I'm joined by the uh, Transport Secretary, Patrick McLaughlin. Uh, Patrick, what brings you down to Worksop today? Well, I wanted to come and have a look at this, uh, at this plant and this factory because I'd heard so much about it. And what I think you see here is, there's no doubt what you see here, is the very edge of engineering and also development for projects like Crossrail and other big major projects across the country too. 29 a billion pounds is being spent in the southeast and southwest on government infrastructure projects, whereas just five billion is being spent in Yorkshire. Uh, how does that sh show a government that's committed to the north? Well, we are committed to the north. Obviously, some of those projects we inherited, but actually, if I go around the country at the moment, I'm looking at the eight four, four, five, uh, four five three that's being developed other road infrastructure programs that are taking, the amount of money we'll be spending on the M1 and M6 as far as uh, upgrading those motorways. So there's a huge amount to do. I don't decry that whatsoever. And one of the things that the new high-speed rail link will do, I hope will redress some of that balance. OK, Patrick McLaughlin, Transport Secretary, thanks very much thank you. for your time. So great news for uh, the company here in Worksop. They're going to be constructing this over the next year and then taking it down to London to build that train station. Uh, but the question is, how many other businesses in the North Midlands and in Yorkshire will benefit from infrastructure projects like this? OK, thank you, Mark Hansel, reporting there from Worksop.